Hello everybody, I'm a Rainbow, and I'm super excited about Demio's Curse of the Serpent that's just released. This module is awesome. The desert setting is fantastic. It's got a new playable character and a whole bunch of new spell cards and effects, and it's guaranteed to leave you spitting expletives at some point. Now's the time for the spoiler alert. If you haven't played it yet, and you don't want to know what you should or shouldn't do on that final level, then stop watching now. However, if you're looking for a few tips that might help you get to the end, this is the place for you. Along with all the other critters running around the final module, there is a three-headed hydra literally popping up in the very center of this module. It seems like this should be the boss for this level, because it is hard to deal with all by itself. But the Hydra is just an obstacle. It's a very big obstacle, but only one part of the problems you have to overcome. No matter what characters you're playing or what strategy you're going to try, there's one thing you should do and two things you should never do. The one thing that you have to do is summon High Priest Umbral. There is one lit sigil on the ground for each member of the party. They look like cat's eyes. You have to find them. Any party member can stand on any sigil, but they all have to be occupied to summon the high priest. There is no other prerequisite. If you go and stand on the sigils and the board is full of monsters, you're going to have a lot to deal with. This brings me to the two things that you should not do. Number one, do not kill all the Hydra's heads before you summon the high priest. If you kill all the heads before the high priest has been summoned, he will pop in, simply resurrect all the heads at full health, and disappear. This is no fun and will likely result in your untimely death. Number two, do not summon the high priest until you've killed at least two of the Hydra's heads. Ideally, you'll have the third head at low hit points and ready to be killed before stepping on those sigils. If you don't kill off the heads, you'll be fighting them and the high priest at the same time. This is not how you want to spend your time. Now I'm going to hit a couple of quick tips. The Hydra's heads can be stunned by hitting the Hydra's tail. Any attack on the tail that does damage will stun the heads for one turn. You can't keep them perpetually stunned because the tail will not show itself again until the turn after the heads can attack. High Priest Umbral is tricky because he creates doppelgangers each turn after the first. Then they all get shuffled up in front of you. These doppelgangers go away with any damage done to them, but if you lose track of Umbral, you're going to waste time and attacks trying to find the real one. One person in the party should try and track the priest during the shuffle. Just reach out and pretend you've got hold of him. It'll help keep your eyes focused on him rather than getting lost in that shuffle. The rest is up to you. I hope you have as much fun with this module as I'm having. As always, I'd love for you to hit that like button and drop me a comment or a question. I love answering questions. Even better, think about subscribing and make my day a little brighter. Thanks so much for watching. Y'all be good or don't get caught. Rainbow out.